All right, let's talk to Zoe's computer again and type your age. I'm sure you can tell me what happens behind this. Well, it looks similar. Mr. Python needs age from the user, so there must be a variable which grabs age using input function. Yeah. We gave 12 as input. How does it understand I'll turn 13? It just adds one to any number we give. With this tiny piece of program, age equal to age plus one. It's so obvious. Oh, don't mind. Go ahead. Anyway, next, there has to be a variable which holds the message. And the message has a percentage S since it shows the age it got from us. You're right again. We use embedding. And using embedding to replace percentage S with 13. Perfect. Let's run the program. Wait, what? Error? Mr. Python got confused in line 8 because 12 is stored as a string, but 1 as a number. Oh, oh, oh! So Mr. Python stores the value it receives in a string form. Oh, yes. Of course. We cannot add a word to a number. How do we avoid this error? Hmm. We can use what we learned earlier. Ah, I got this one. We can convert word into a number using an int function. Yep, like this. By inserting input inside int function. Let's run the program. Success! It displays the message now. <laughs>